Hey, what's up, guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sakducha here, and whoo, I'm tired. I ain't been up this early in a minute, but we are going Jack Creville fishing today, and there was two options: was one to load up all the gear, walk the jetties to get to the end to fish for them, or get on a boat and go fish for them that way. I'm sorry, but I'm a little too old for trying to walk the jetties and stuff like that. I'm being lazy, get it right. So, no, uh, so what we're gonna do, uh, we got a crew of guys that we're all rigging up with the gator spoons, and we're gonna go out there and we're gonna put a bunch of different colors to the test because I know they work. We just, nobody around here has done it because everything here locally is always about gold and silver. Well, there's so many variations, I'm taking all of them with me, or not even all of them, I'm taking <laughs> about 25% of them with me, and but, or and, at the same time, I still gotta rig up some leaders. So that's why I'm doing this video, is to show you the lures that I'm taking and the rigging setup that I'm gonna do for this. And obviously I'm going a lot heavier because I'm gonna be on a boat and with the boat, you know, I don't wanna chance it, you know, getting underneath the boat or whatever. So I'm gonna be using a 200 pound top shot. And it's only, you know, about 30 inches or so, but also too, so that way if we get near the boat, we can actually hand handle that line to get the gaff or the net and actually that's the other thing too I'm going to take a net instead of gaffing them and the reason for the netting is because I don't want my Jack Cravels bleeding out too much because I'm going to be using them for shark bait later or two toward the end of the trip I may let one free float or free swim out there and see if I can catch a quick shark for the video yeah I think I'll do that because that's a video I've been trying to do for a long time and hadn't been able to get it set up Maybe today is the day. We'll see how it is. Um, we've got overcast, sporadic showers, and stuff like that, but um, more than likely that'll bypass us all by the time we get on the boat and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and get these leaders set up and show you what I'm working with. Yeah. Got a bite. Got a bite. Got a lot of stress on my mind It's a nice day to go Yeah, I got a line I'm a caller The whole team Alright guys, so I've got these snap swivels And these are rated for 125 pounds I've got my stainless steel swivels here Which are also rated for 250 pounds And then I got my mono here That's rated for 200 pound test So, let's go and get this together and it's a simple little deal, but I'm going to do several of them so that way I can have extras. Because you just never know what you can lose on, on the boat. So I've got that. I'm going to do a simple, simple loop right here. Put that in. Then on the other side, I'm going to do my snap swivel. And the reason I'm putting a snap swivel instead of going straight to my, my deal is because I don't want to have a bunch of these tag lines on my lures because I don't have a real big bag for lure fishing. Like I said, I don't use lures too much, but this is what I'm going to be doing today. So, and Again, make sure it's sideways like that and it's sticking out on both sides and then you crimp. Doing the next one, same way. Make sure it's on both sides. So that's what I'm gonna make right there. I'm gonna make about five or six more so I can have extras and go from there. All right guys, so my gimbal died on me and fell off the counter. So there's a few of the ones that I did, and you can see where I've got my snap swivel on this end, my swivel over here, and then I'll show you the combination of rods I'll be taking. Got an SX Raptor right here on the tank. This one's the Vexen tank, right there. And then this one's the MXL Raptor. I've got it on the Tackle Industries, and this one's the Extra Extra Heavy. It's the 8150 pound class rod right there. And then I've got another SX Raptor, and I got it on the Vexen Extra Heavy, or XX Heavy, sorry. And I'll be taking all three of these today for the 
Jack Cravels. And the reason I'm taking all three of them because you just never know if you're going to break off, lose too much line or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up. And we'll start rocking and rolling over there. So Jack's Beware, we are coming. And I'll give you a little idea of my box or my bag over here. I've got the uh, five ounce gold right there. I got the five ounce in the white. I've got three ounce in assorted colors right there. And I also got, got them in the silver with the uh, scale on them. Got them in silver with gold. Got them gold with red. Got it with the gold, solid gold, five ounce. And the reason I'm going with some little heavier ones is just in case I gotta reach out a little further and take some heavier ones. I've got my gold with the silver right here too white powder coat with the red you know got actually another five ounce powder coat right there got a three and a half ounce powder coat got a three and a half ounce right there as well I'm even taking some of their elbow lures as well try those out and I have some fish bites obviously maybe I can put some put some of those on the tail end of the uh, the lures maybe that'll instigate a better bite don't know but uh Yep, there's my bag prepared for battle. So, I'm about to hit the road. See if we can load up. Stay tuned, guys. This video is coming. <laughs> 